This is Jeremy Johnson for Full Contact Fighter TV and that MMA show on Indio Radio. I am here with nine-time UFC vet Luigi Fioravante after his win tonight here at Shamrock FC. Luigi, talk us a little bit through the fight. Uh, you know, uh, I had a tough opponent in Josh Thorpe. Uh, you know, he was uh, unorthodox. He threw a lot of unorthodox strikes, kept switching stances. So <clears throat> I had to be a little cautious in the fight. Um, I couldn't put him away like I wanted to, uh, but, uh, you know, I ended up getting the, the TKO win in the third round, and, uh, you know, it was a good uh, learning experience in the fight, you know, and <clears throat> I'm going to, you know, look at the fight, see the mistakes I made, and capitalize on them. So now, he did cut you, managed to cut you through in the fight. What happened in that? Uh, yeah, we were on the ground, I had his back, and I was just trying to look for a TKO, just box his ears in and, and go to the body, and he just threw one of those sneaky elbows, you know, from, uh, he was covered up, turtled up, and he threw a back elbow, and it just hit me in the forehead when I was looking for an opening. So, you know, stuff like that, you know, I mean, <clears throat> it's part of, the, part of the game, you know. And like I said, he was, he was real unorthodox. He throws a lot of spinning, uh, spinning uh, back fists and, and spinning kicks. He, he threw a capoeira kick tonight. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't uh, very crisp, but, you know, I was able to see it. But like I said, it was a cautious in my approach. You know, I was looking for the, a big knockout. Um, I couldn't pull the trigger with my right hand. It was a little tender. Um, I had injured it, but uh, I was able to get the stoppage, so. I'm happy with my, you know, with that performance. So now, how does it feel that this is your first time fighting in St. Louis? You've had a couple of issues, a couple of opponents dropping, some fights going out. Talk a little bit about that. Yeah, I, I was supposed to fight back in, uh, I believe it was June, and uh, I, I had got sick the night of the fight, and I had to pull out, and uh, you know, my, m you know, I wanted to make sure my health, you know, uh, was good. And, um, I'd like to actually fight that that opponent again if I could in the future. Um, so, uh, but you know. I'm just thankful to Shamrock FC for giving me the opportunity to fight in uh, St. Louis and show the St. Louis fans that, you know, I put on a good show. That you do. Multiple black belts. I know that you're black belt in Missouri Jiu-Jitsu. You're also a black belt in Pancrase. Talk a little bit about that. Well, it's uh, Pancrase uh, USA. It's a, uh, it's a MMA organization. Uh, uh, they're they're uh, chapter off of uh, the Pancrase uh, hybrid wrestling in Japan. And uh, <laughs> it's a grappling system, but they also cover... Uh, uh, other uh, forms of grappling like judo, takedown, sambo, leg locks, not just uh, Brazilian jiu-jitsu. So then tell us a little about what is next for Luigi Fioravante. Well, I'm just going to heal up, you know, a little bit after this fight, and then uh, hopefully I can fight again in December. That's what I'm looking to do, man. Let's just fight again and, and keep, keep the train going. Shout out to the sponsors. Yeah, uh, I want to thank uh, Pancrase, uh, US, uh, US MMA, uh, Finney's. Um, I also want to thank uh, Shiyuku uh, Karate. Um, I also want to thank uh, Combate Extreme MMA, uh, those guys out in Fort Leonard Wood, and uh, all my teammates for, uh, for helping me get ready for this fight. All right, guys, nine-time vet, you, Luigi Fioravante, thank you so much. Uh, and also I want to thank uh, my, uh, my boys in uh, Detroit Kudo up in Detroit, Michigan, uh, Dan Kendall, thank you very much. All right, guys, thank you so much.